Hello, and welcome back to another episode of our Minecraft Feed the Beast Let's Play on the Naos Gaming server. Uh, I'm here in the Swally Forest in my tower, as I typically am. And, um, just to show some of the nonsense that went on with the wire, uh, I kind of snaked it all over the place in the process of trying to get it down to the sorting machine. So that's not ideal, um, but it is the best we can do. Uh, maybe we can make efforts to hide it a little better uh, as we move forward. Um, but I have been doing uh, a lot of work, as you will see. Um, I put together some lasers and some uh, an assembly table uh, for the purpose of making an odd arc uh, gates um, for use with the bees. So, uh, let's just make a bunch of gates for now. Uh, we'll change those into autarchic gates as we go. Um, so I do have that going. I did have to hook up these magmatic engines in order to make it um, do any of this processing in any reasonable amount of time. Um, the other thing that I did was I made um, some of these spot loaders. And if I show the chunks, I believe the assembly table is just outside of... Oh no, it's in this It's in this chunk. Um, I do have a spot loader downstairs, uh, just on the other side of this wall. Um, so this chunk should be loaded, so these should continue to be generated even when we are out of the area. Um, but I am trying to put together some gates um, to make some progress with the bees. Let me get rid of those chunk lines. And uh, the other thing I did was um, polish up the sorting system a little bit and uh, move some of the items to storage um, that I had an excess of. So some of these chests are starting to have free space in them now, uh, which is helping a lot. And then as I need items, um, I can just request those items, and I don't need to worry about it too much. Um, I covered up some of the wiring down here, so it looks a little bit more polished. I moved the barrels all over to this side. Uh, for mass storage, I did need to do a little bit more coloring on the, on the items that need to be stored in the barrels, so uh, I have that going, but as of now, most of these chests are largely empty, um, so I am not uh, I'm not struggling for storage at this point. So I'm not really worried about refining this any further at this time. Um, I did build an MFSU, and I put a spot loader right here just so while I'm logged out, I can at least be storing power. And I did manage to get this. Uh, MF MFE fully powered, um, so I figured it wouldn't be a bad idea to have uh, a lot of power storage on hand, just in case. So, that's what I've done here. Most of my, my other subtle progress has been made um, with the bees. I did manage to get a couple of autarchic gates and uh, automate a couple of these guys and um, that was yesterday, I believe, or maybe the day before that I did that, so, and I already have several stacks of combs in here, just off of these two, um, so what we need to do is get the rest of these things automated, and then things will go a lot faster for us. Uh, I do have cultivated and common bees at this point, um, and I accidentally got some majestic bees, which are now cultivated bees again, so I guess I lost the majestic trait out of those, um, but I do need to start breeding the cultivated and the common together to get uh, the noble. And from there, the Imperial, which will give us the real jelly that we need. Um, the nice thing about being on a server is it's a lot easier to make progress uh, with the bees because you can have the chunk loaders and 
be logged out for a period of time and the bees can do their thing and uh, you can make a lot more progress than if you're in like a single player world. So I'm going to take these back to the house and process them and see if I can get any more uh, propolis to make um, apiarist pipes so that we can automate a bit more of this. Alright, I've managed to get a few more autarchic gates and a few more apiarist pipes from the uh, um, honeycombs um, that we've gotten from, the, from these two automated apiaries and um, I've managed to make uh, four more, so production should triple or yes. So, uh, looking forward to that, and I'm just about to go back and try uh, to process these other honeycombs and maybe get some more propolis. I did drop off quite a bit, like four or five stacks earlier, so um, I would like to see if we got anything out of that at this point. Uh, I'm still getting mostly cultivated and common bees. I believe I need to set up some isolated apiaries in order to get um, the majestic and the um, imperial bees, or noble. Noble was the first year. So I have that to do yet. Uh, my MFSU that I set up before did not charge while I was away, um, so I'm not sure what happened there, uh, but I had no charge on it when I came back. I think uh, the lava was routing incorrectly, um, so I didn't get the full charge on it. It should be routing correctly now though, so let's check and see how much progress we've made. Um, maybe a third of the way, um, and probably drained maybe a quarter of the tank of lava. Oops. So, uh, the spot loader that I put back here is doing its job, um, but we are still short on power. Uh, the other issue that I'm having is that I don't really have enough power to keep up with, uh, with production on these autarchic gates. Oh, there's two more. I need more propolis though, so let's see if we can find any more propolis. No. Uh, sometimes you'll get propolis directly from the honeycombs, um, but it's pretty rare, so I'm having to process these honey drops in order to get it. Um, so I won't be able to automate any more. Oh, no, I can. I can do two more. So let's make some diamond pipes again. And then I will make two of these. Uh, let's keep that glass in my inventory, maybe we'll go in the builders. Oh, I did not intend for it to go down there. Um, so I believe I have everything else I need over with the apiaries. So I will go and check that out. Oh, and it's nighttime. Fabulous. So I think what I need to do at this point is go that way with it. Um, unfortunately, I don't have much in the way of smooth stone left. Alright, so I've gathered some more uh, smooth stone and I extended this uh, a little bit. I need to grab the wrench and drop off some of these pipes. Uh, let's put the gates on in the meantime. I don't remember if I put the bees in here. I did not. Uh, put a cultivated in this one. Alright. 
So I just need to set up this iron pipe down here. And there is two more configured. Uh, so we're up to eight automated. Um, I do need to figure out a way to automate uh, another row of these guys. So for the time being, I think I'm just going to expand my platform a bit. Oops. I do need to... Oh, man. This efficiency drill is uh, a little much sometimes. Um, but I'll need to move these apiaries over that way. And the reason I'm going that way is because this chunk loader has an area loaded this way and this way, but not um, out further into the ocean. So uh, it's rather than expand the chunk loader, I'm just um, expanding my platform the other direction. So that'll make things easier in the long run. So I'm going to let this run for a little bit, and then I will uh, come back and show you what progress we have. Alright, so I may have forgotten to expand this chest uh, before I left yesterday, um, but luckily it was only half full. I did forget to turn a couple of these autarchic gates on to pump the items back down into the chest. Um, so luckily we didn't uh, overfill anything. And I did put another chest down to prevent that from happening going forward. Um, but I would like to um, build a chest to put the items that aren't um, relevant to the, the pipes. So like these things. Um, I shouldn't have put those in there, but I did. And, that, and then I'll just dump these in here. Uh, leave that wood there for now. Grab that guy. And then I grab these. There you go. So we'll go ahead and take these back to the house. And chunks aren't loading. Whoa, hello wall. So we need to drop these off upstairs. And then what I want to do is pick up some uh, some frames. I need to get uh, the mutations going to get uh, the Imperial and the Majestic Bees, or the, what is it, Noble and Majestic Bees. So, oh man, I'm running out of room for these guys now. So I did set the carpenter up to start making these impregnated sticks. Um, and I have quite a bit of string downstairs so we can make some regular frames. And then I believe I have some soul sand as well. So we shouldn't have any problem making... Oh, there's a bunch of soul sand right there. Um, I thought my string was in there as well. Oh, it's up here. Okay, so let's make these guys. Pregnated frames. Really, that's all I can make? That's unfortunate. Uh, so let's go ahead and make that guy. That guy. I need six, ideally. I need to get a lot more trees, and I don't have them. Um, was that there? No, that was where the string was. I'll just leave it in here for now. And put that wood right there. There we go. Uh, shoot. I need to go chop down a bunch of oak trees. Oh, we did get quite a bit of propolis, that's good. And hopefully we have some autarchic gates waiting for us. Did you make more sticks? Yeah, you did. Uh, is there any in here? No. Some leaves for no reason. Only 
23. I'd like to take a few and just set them up so that uh, the bees get recycled. Um, I'm not sure if that will prevent me from getting the mutations I want though, so I don't know if I can do that or not. Uh, I need these diamond pipe. Those in there. And the gates can go in there as well. Uh, the frames go in there. I have like stacks of common bees in, in these things, so it's fine. And that guy's still going. Throw these on the ground. Uh, do I have any more princesses? Oh, there we have a noble drone. Maybe we could just put the noble drone in and start getting something. Put him in there. Princesses. This this one cultivated. So the other thing I'm working on is, like I said, I need logs. Um, so I'm trying to build some uh, tree farms. I can't believe it didn't make that. Um, put that there for now. So I made a bunch of these 10 electron tubes. And that's why I need the copper. And I need a bunch of wood planks. Planks, planks. Unfortunately, I've thrown all my wood into this guy. Uh, to make impregnated sticks. Um, I just need any kind of wood though, right? So maybe I can use that canopy wood for that. Yeah, let's use this. You can make fur half slabs. these guys in here. Did I do it backwards? Yep. What am I out of? Stone blocks? So what I'm doing, if I come around this corner over here, oh, I have to go up first. As I'm trying to build a giant uh, tree farm, uh, the largest one that you can build, which is 5x5x4, five by five by unfortunately it requires 100 farm blocks, and I am about 25 short right now. So I was hoping at some point this would come out where I can see it from below. But it looks like that's not going to happen. I may need to dig out these leaves and uh, try and I, I want the bottom to just be peeking out so I need to take the ones off the top and put them on the bottom and uh, get it dug out. <laughs> So I will work on that, uh, but until then, uh, I'm going to end it here. Thanks everybody for watching, I'll see you next time.